It's the Verton Pumas in the near court, wearing their traditional teal. The Lady Stangs in white in the far court. Stop! Hammer time! Or is it ain't? Alessana Shiloh meets you with the top for the fingertip block. Stop! Freeze frame! Please read graphic before proceeding. This is just what it says there. Winner into the semifinals and a three, two, one, roll tape. High fives all the way around as the Lady Cats like that action for sure. A red hot chili pepper serve forces Burton into scramble mode. A few nice hits to get it across, but the horses are plotting demise on the other side. Catherine Chen rears back and gets all of it, ripping it right into the heart of the defense for the all-powerful point. After taking game one, linking up nine in game two, they play best three out of five. And it's tricky to serve an ace to serve an ace in the right place. It's tricky. It's tricky, tricky, tricky. Michaela Kenalaha with the abracadabra trickery. Puma Bell Chu doing the dirty work. She hits the deck to make the dig. Lincoln's Jamie Pan throws a hand out there to keep it in play. And then they line it up for the big hit. But look at how high Alasana gets up. About a foot over the net as far as I can tell. She's a blocking and a clocking points for her Pumas, you know, finger taps all the way around. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Too much hot sauce on the Sume Soye Vong serve, and it's too hot to handle. One more time in loco slow mo, seemingly out of nowhere, and it's right on top of you. Did you see the movement on that sucker? Gives you a better appreciation for exactly how hard this sport really is. And now, a Growing Up City production, The Anatomy of a Murder, in three acts. Bump, set, kill. Bump, be Nora Lawrence. Set, be Soye Vong. And the kill. Courtesy your friendly neighborhood, Catherine Chan. Horses, grab a two game to none lead. Did I mention copyright? Copyright this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, throw your hands up. I said throw your hands up. Thank you. It's time for America's favorite game show. You make the call. Here comes a serve. Is it is or is it ain't? Did you make the right call? Ooh, fancy. The stylish snap of the flag lets you know Ace is the place for your friendly Catherine Chan. And the home team keeps dialing up the pressure. They have Sume on speed dial. 1-800-TAKE-ME-HOME CITY STREETS as she drills it through the teeth of the defense. And the battle rages on. Lincoln with a barrage of strong hits to keep the Pumas back on their heels. But Bell and Michaela are up to the challenge with outstanding digs until Madeline Plunk proves you don't always have to hit it 100 mph, but where you put it is just as important. Example, sample this the next play. The freshman, Catherine Chan, she's savvy. Instead of setting for the hammer, she changes the pace and drops it like it's hot to the empty spot. Sneaky, sneaky, savvy, sneakiness. And of course, everybody, 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 everybody gots to have a handshake. Laissez le bon temps rouler. Yeah, that's French for let the good times roll. We be sophisticated here on Growing Up City. And whether they realize it in the moment or not, this is good times all the way around. Both teams with plenty to be proud of. Hey, they made it this far, didn't they? Like the whispers said, in And the Beat Goes On, yeah, I'm taking you back. Do you ever wonder that to win, somebody's got to lose? I might as well get over the blues. That was Catherine Chan one last time, and I don't think she's so friendly anymore. It's the Mustangs who win in three and advance to the semifinals.